Hi doll. Say 80s and all sorts of stuff on there. Hi yeah. Full. Yes, I did catch it. to the Thin Brown Line YouTube channel um, and hello from the past because with any luck if I've done all this right this will be uploading about an hour after I get back from my day airsofting so I'm filming it early so anywho um, if any of you watched my last video on the 2007 trope stroke 2016 army armament uh, r85 um build rebuild transplant swappy rooey thingy um you saw me muck about the motor and the piston set i have popped the blowback back in it now as well so it should work um so i'm actually gonna reassemble it so first off I've got the lower now, as you can see, I've already stuck the uh, the OD green um, pistol grip on and remember the block that helps to hold the um, hop unit in place? I've already popped the one out of the 2007 model in that already. Uh, right, so, lower gearbox. Now what you have to do, when you stick the lower gearbox in, well the actual, you know, all the gear set and everything, in, you have to make sure, make sure that's on, there's a little sticky out a bit there that fits into i'll stick some pictures up but it fits into oops a hole about there in the lower receiver so you have to guide it down now it can be a bit snug depending on what model you've got and what body you've got and all that sort of stuff so you have to get it past the trigger bar down and slide uh, slide back he says, right, there we go. One bit more. Nope, not in yet. It can be a bit finicky, as you can see. Um, there we go. Ah, fingers! There we go. That is in. Just poke the wires back down there out of the way. Poggy stick. You just have to make sure the wires are out of the way of the body, that's all. Otherwise, uh, bad things could happen. And that, and that wire is the one that's going to get right in the way of the pin that holds the gearbox in. Right, there we go. The pin that holds the gearbox in is lost. It's here, in my hand. No, it's the wrong one. What am I thinking? It is this. The bolt release uh, drops through. I will show you. And then I'll pop it in. Right. And the bolt release goes through a hole in the side here, goes straight through here, all the way through, and will just stick into that edge there. So I'm going to muck about that here. I managed to actually get all the uh, the crappy blue paint off that as well, and the black and mixture of paints that were on it. Like I say, it can be a bit tight and not wanting to go in so I've just got to pull that back out because I've put the wire in the wrong place now. There's the wire. Just poke the wires all the way down the way. Ideally you don't want to use a sharp object when pushing the wires in place again. Right this is where it gets fun. Well I say it gets fun it's already fun but it's going to be even more fun. Just took the wires out of the way. I've ended up with too much wires somewhere. No, I didn't know. Anyway, right, those wires go down the side here. There are two little uh, tabs just above the, the magwell. Again, I'll show you some up, uh, up close pictures, but there's one there and one there. They just hold the wires out of the way of the hop and everything like that. I'm just flicking those out of the way. I'm going to pop them back so they hold the wires back in place. Because obviously I had to bend them out so I could get yeah, you're going in bits. There we go. Right. 
now for that lovely lovely piston set that uh, I rebuilt on camera um, Sunday and I actually did film it on Sunday as well <laughs> so just going to get that all lined up Make sure that's not all not catching anything. I mean, it is just catching the wire. There we go. Right. Yeah. Remember that uh, that pin with the uh, little arm on the end of it. That one. Yep. It goes in from as you look at the butt of the gun, the left hand side, just because there's a bit more room for the tab to stick out of the way once it is in and holding in place. And that's the gearbox going to stay in now. Now. So as we get the rest of the gun put together, just to make sure the wires are all poked well out of the way. And keep making sure the wires are poked well out of the way, because if you don't make sure the wires are poked well out of the way, you're going to have problems. You're going to trap stuff and cause all sorts of issues. So you need to make sure everything is tucked well out of the way, because obviously it's a metal body, metal gearbox, metal, um, sorry, uh, upper receiver and everything. Anything pinches, you're going to get a short and you're going to end up blowing a battery or anything. This is the bit I don't like. That pin and that spring has to go on the uh, the bolt release. There is a dinky little hole dead center. Again, I'm going to slip that a little bit. Just, don't know if there's enough light, but just there, the pin goes through there and the spring fastens onto that. I don't know if you can see it very well, but that just on the end of the gearbox there. That is what ooh, makes the uh, the bolt release spring loaded. And I did this on the other one earlier on and I wasn't looking forward to doing it on this one. Oh yes, good news. Uh, those of you who don't follow me on Instagram won't already know this. Those of you who do follow me on Instagram already know this. Um, I got a replacement MOSFET. It arrived, I fitted it, it works. I'm now one happy bunny, and I'm actually shocked that spring went on first time. Woo. I'm going to complain. Right. Um, that's that done with for now. Yeah. F. Bring that up. I might be able to see. There's a split pin. Which isn't all the way, all the way in. There we go. That's the split pin. There's the spring, and it just attaches onto the front of here. So when you flick that down. It's spring loaded, which releases obviously releases the bolt when you pulled it back to get to the top unit. Right, here's my upper receiver, which you may remember I switched to Dean's. My mad ball barrel, which I whipped out of the 2007 model. The only reason I'm not bothering to put all the uh, the juicy juicy bits back in the 2007 model is because. Um, I've already rebuilt this basically to a good spec and I didn't know, I didn't think the MOSFET was going to arrive in time. I had no idea when it was coming, when I was going to get it, well, get the replacement. So all I've done is ended up with two lovely, lovely working um, L85s. Oh yes, before I forget, this body pin here is very, very important. It goes, I nearly forgot, just holds the front end of the gearbox in place. You see. When, there we go, holds the front of the gearbox in place. There we go, just in there. I nearly forgot to put it in. Wouldn't have been a major issue because it's, it's held in by everything else, but it's worth keeping an eye on anyway. And yes, I have still got a snotty nose. Right, so I've put the new barrel in. Um, I showed you <laughs> me breaking stuff. I showed you on the disassembly how it comes out, but I'll just quickly talk through it. I'm not going to do it all over again, but there's a screw just in that horseshoe bit there. You undo that, and the barrel just pulls straight out the back. Fairly simple to put together. Uh, da -da -da -da. Right. Obviously, remember to reconnect your connectors if it's it should be joined in the middle anyway line everything up 
stand it up. Again, making sure any wires are well out of the way. Just like, just like. Pull that right way around, don't I? Yes, I have. That's right. right. Ah, there we go. There we go. Oh, that was a faff and a half, wasn't it? Right, body pin back in the rear, which is the big old in the back there. Um, right, after a bit of brute force ignorance, that is now in and connected. Um, before I finish putting it all back together, I make sure nothing is binding and knackered up. So just quickly plug in the battery that's just about dead now, actually. Well, that one's tightened up. It works. Just notice that me blowback don't work. Yeah, it does. All right, blowback's fixed. And yes, like I say, I put the blowback back in, so as you can see, right up high. there we go. Oop. And there's the dreaded semi-auto issue. There we go, All right. Obviously the 2007 model that I've got, um, that's got the furniture off, off of the 2016 model, right now. Um, that one won't have the semi lock up because it's got a MOSFET on it. Right, you must think about that. Let's do that up as well while I'm at it. There we go. Stay. If your uh, gas block on the barrel comes loose, it is a grub screw and it's an Allen key bolt just in here. You just tighten it up and away you go. And obviously that was one of the issues with it that I didn't look at actually. I didn't even notice was wrong with it until just now. Not good. Um, but let's get that solved. Make sure it's straight before you tighten it up as well, because otherwise if you're gonna put the front sight post on it, it will never be straight or square. There we go, that's nice and tight now. But no movement, no movement. And it's straight. Out of the way. The other thing that I will be putting back on this is the folk, the folk, the fake gas system, which just consists of three parts. This lovely shaped bar and the spring that fits over the top of it. And then oh, that silver hollow tube that's actually got a block in the center of it to stop it. So what you do, you put a spring end into that hole there, which I do now, which you can probably not hear me talking properly. So that just slides in there. There is a hole inside, so you need to feel about for it. There we go. Oh, not found it, there we go, found it. And there is, this is two-ended, it's got a thick, wider end and a slimmer end in the bore. The slimmer end, the wider end goes over the gas block and the slimmer end just mates up with that. There we go. That bore. Right, so, next thing is the Susat back on it. <sighs> that job, which I don't know if I mentioned in the last video, but it's... So, the SUSE is very easy to re zero because if you can ever get it on the bastard runners, that's where I got to stop drinking. There we go. It drops nicely. There we go. I'll show you some in depth photos and whatnot, but I'll also give you a close up in a second. Up to the right way round. Don't put it on backward. Again, as I say, because I'm doing it 
so you guys can see properly because I'm a left lefty right uh, don't know where you can see on the screen hang on let me tighten this back up and get it in place one two right that's right anyway, on I'm trying to hold it at an angle on the susa it's not going to go anywhere now it's fastened but there's this, this little bar here which you push up and it unlocks a block underneath which drops into the three holes on the dovetail rail so once you've got it set it will re-zero every single time without fail unless something dramatic happens to your rail so last thing to do to complete the reassembly is the lovely OD handrail which I'll show you the front of this on the front there is where are we there's a lug either side just above the um, trigger guard and there is a little square hole in the back end of the handguard needless to say the hole marries up to the lug and then the hole on the side there which does get obviously go all the way through marries up to the hole on the bottom of the gas block let's spin that around onto there so you drop the hole on the back of this onto the lug and the hole on the front marries up to the gas block it makes everything fairly easy and it helps if I put the right side in first doesn't it when doing this I'll remind you now because I've just not make sure you put the side with the door flap whatever you want to call it on first because then it will marry up right so last but not least all I've got to do now Swing point goes in there, obviously that way up, and from the other side, the bolt goes through, and the flat blade screwdriver lever, just to. Have I got the wrong screwdriver? No, I haven't. Just to do it up, and it just helps to hold the handguard together. That's, that's actually one of the pet peeves with some people. Well, with a lot of people that use these, if you need to change your battery. You need a screwdriver, unless somebody's decided to put a wing nut on the end of there. But as a stock front handguard system, you need a screwdriver to access the battery compartment. Which, okay, on one hand, it makes it safer. On the other hand, though, it uh, makes it a ball like right. And let's just finish the picture with a nice dark earth magazine. So that is the 2016-2007 Army Armament L85A1 with the upgraded piston set, high torque motor, mad ball type ball barrel, and a promy bucket, which I didn't show you putting in. Ha, whoopsie! But um, yeah, that is what I'm actually gonna be running as my primary on Sunday. Now, some of you lot will be going, I pro, there's a magazine in it. It's an eye cap. It's empty. Quick whinging. <laughs> um, but yeah. There we go. So that is all done and dusted. You've heard it working. I'm actually taking the um, 2007 model, which has now got the blue furniture on it, with me. Because um, partially I want to give it a good run out now. It's got the MOSFET working again. And secondly, I want to know what the spring that came out of this one, that I put in that one, is firing at so that I can uh, label it up and stick it with the rest of my spares in my spares bin because all my springs are labelled up what FPS they fire at in my L85s because then I know roughly what they're going to be after some really advanced calculations. I don't know, calculate it, work it out. Um, then I can work out roughly what's going to be firing at in like an MP5, an 8, something like that. So, um, that for now like i say you'll be viewing this on sunday this is now tuesday yes it's tuesday um but for now uh if you're playing this weekend or played this weekend hope you had having fun <laughs> um 
there will be another video coming, obviously, um, this Sunday coming, which, oh, I'm getting confusing now. Your Sunday coming, my Sunday after next. Yeah. Um, and it might be something that's not what it looks like. If I can get hold of it this today, if I've gotten hold of, if I get my hands on it, <laughs> I'll be doing it. But anyway, for now, uh, if you like what you see, um, drop us a like, share, subscribe, hit the bell button to uh, notify you when I upload something new. Um, if you'd like to know what's coming up, because I don't post everything instantly on here. Um, I do on Instagram, so you can find me on as uh, at Thin Brown Line on Instagram. Also on Facebook, just under Thin Brown Line again. It's a picture of me spalled out across an ATV in the berry and a quite an old OD green vest actually, looking all um, calendar girlish. Shut up. Um, but yes, there will be some game day footage and bits and bobs coming. Uh, in the next couple of weeks, either next week or week after, something like that. I'm not quite sure. Depends when I get the editing done because we're taking two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine cameras. So there's going to be a whole lot of footage to go through. But anyway, um, I think that's about it, ladies and jelly beans, madame and messieurs. Um, yeah. Oh, by the way, before I forget, these. Gate, fantastic customer services. Contacted them and it's taken them a week to send me a new one. Um, from me saying it's broken to it turning up on my door. So, not affiliated with them. I just wanted to give them a shout out because they were absolutely fantastic. Um, but yeah, for now, thanks for watching.